Good morning, good morning, Fargo family, man. <clears throat> Still in this old yard, trying to get some things situated. Smoking on the little niblet of a uh, punch classico. So, uh, wanted to tap in with y'all this morning, man. And, uh, oh yeah, you see the chrome back there. You know what I'm saying? I got tired of waiting on the chrome shops outside of here, so. Went ahead and, uh, told Hurricane, get your boy right. So. Come to this hurricane. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Orientation building right there. First thing you gotta think about is what's gonna make hurricane suit you. What's gonna make hurricane work for you? You know what I'm saying? What's going to be the expected amount of money that you're going to be happy making here at Hurricane? I don't think it's no big secret. Everybody know in the whole trucking industry that uh, Hurricane, you can make money, but you're not going to make five, six, seven, eight thousand dollars here at this Hurricane, you know? So, uh, That's for number one. Number two is you got to be able to get out here and run these miles, man. You got to run it. No matter what you think about what you want to do, you got to run it. You know what I'm saying? Every day you get up, you got to have a mental mindset. I got to be here, be here, and get here, and I'll be good. hurricane is going through a hurricane right now. I'm not going to get too much into it because that ain't none of my business. But uh, there's still money to be made here. You still can come over here and drive a nice truck and uh, make a decent living. You know. Uh, there's still things like that. <coughs> Bless you. That you're going to be able to do. You know, once you figure out what works for you in Hurricane, then you're going to be able to line everything out and uh, make it work for you. You know, there's 30 people over here at this orientation this morning. I guess they're getting a uh, 90 day trucks now. And the sad thing about it, it could be a certain percentage of them that just seen the nice truck, the nice trucks at Hurricane, didn't do their research. And they thinking in their mind about that 2000 guarantee, but they forget to put that word in the middle of that 2000 guarantee, 2000 minimum guarantee, you know? So uh, I thought about this yesterday when I was hollering at Rooster and uh, another one of my homeboys, and I was like, man, you know, what makes Hurricane work for Fargo don't work for everybody else. You can drive just like Fargo. You can run just like Fargo. You can be in the same truck just like Fargo. But what sets Fargo different from any other driver here at Hurricane or them 30 people over there that's coming through orientation? is one thing, the perception of hurricane, the perception of this whole stigmata, S. Carnago stuff about hurricane. Once you've been at hurricane here six months, you'll start to understand what uh, I mean by that, you know, and I never go into too much pay uh, I never go into too much things like that about Hurricane, but uh, one thing is for sure, and two things is for certain. The team looking for me. Yeah, I'm still waiting on getting the shop, man. So, uh, you 
you gonna get ran at Hurricane. They gonna give you the mile. They gonna load you from the west all the way to the east. They gonna load you from the east back to the midwest, from the midwest back to the west. And once you get that first turn in, that's gonna let Hurricane know right then and there what type of driver you are, man or female. You know, I run 66 mile an hour. Uh, most drivers don't do it, some do. But if uh, you can't run 66 mile an hour plus and go pick up on that West Coast in Cali and get all the way to that East Coast to say Hunts Point, you know, your truck becomes non-dependable, so to say, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, try to drop some Jews and gibbets on y'all, man. Uh, outside showing my journey, but I just can't say, do what Fargo do, run 66 mile an hour, stay out four months at a time, go home two weeks, come right back out and repeat that same session year round. That's hard. I got my wife in the truck, you know, so it's a little bit one of those things, man. Uh, once you maneuver and figure out where your lane is here, Hurricane, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. I wouldn't give, give a crap if your check was $100. Uh, $300. Wouldn't matter to me. Uh, something that the driver did is always drive an error at the end of the day to make that situation happen. See, that's the thing about drivers in general. It's always somebody else's fault. Nobody wants to say, oh man, I had two bad days out this week, man. Uh, my average is 580, 550 a week at 66 miles an hour, you know what I'm saying? If I push my time out to a less than an hour, a half, 30 minutes, you know, I might hit 602, 606 and some change, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, the shipper and receiver holding you is just not hurricane. You know, Hurricane going to pay for you. You know, like they're going to pay for your dead head miles or your out of route miles. They're going to pay for it. But that goes into a conglomerate to say that uh, you got to figure out your own lane and figure out your own way to maneuver through this old hurricane. That's why it's called hurricane, dog. You know, so once you figure that out, everything at this hurricane will become understandable and you remember this video man Fargo did say that man you know Fargo did say that I'm not gonna sit here and say that drivers can't drive like me because they can I'm not gonna sit here and say drivers can't drive like a couple of my homeboys here in these 389s and these 579s they can they just gotta figure out their own way to get there and their whole metamorphosisms of it to make their money. Yeah, you know, so I had to go back in that page where the M's and V's at and bring that word out to give it to the Fargo family. You know. Now, so, what dictionary is that in? Yeah, Fargo vocabulary. You know what I'm saying? So, it's 8.20 in the morning, man. We up and they've been up since 6.30. Like I say, uh, everybody over here is getting in their 90-day truck today and uh, I've been on the yard two days. That's another thing, too, man. When you come to this yard, dog, you better write everything up that's wrong with your truck. And you better understand it's a free 34-hour restart here at this yard. Take it. Take the time and the sensibility to understand as long as you're here on this yard, you don't get charged for nothing. Tires, PM services, uh, you know, you don't get charged for nothing. So you better come on in here and when, you, when I leave this large yard today, I'm already got me a couple extra pieces of the uh, the, the write-up sh uh, sheets that they have for the shop. Anything that's going wrong, I write it down. I don't write it on my piece of paper. I write it down on the shop piece of paper. So that way, when I come back to the shop, I've already got my list developed. If anything happens over the road, I've already got my list developed uh, about what's going on with my truck. You know what I'm saying? 
We don't pay for trailer rent out here. We don't pay for this trailer maintenance and things like that. They're of this nature, you know. So uh, at the end of the day, man, you know, it's hurricane, man. I wish I could go into more in-depth stuff about this hurricane, but you got to understand from this video now that I give y'all whenever y'all get it, Hurricane going to change and manipulate the way of their company to be more successful and make their drivers more credible, more loads and more things like that. So I can't tell you something specific because I tell you something specific, you're going to hold Fargo to it like the salt and pepper is beer, and it'll change. you be like, well, hold on, Fargo. You said right out of orientation, they're going to give me $100. Now, right out of orientation, they're giving me $1,000. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Big shout out to everybody that's been reaching out to your boy. You know what I'm saying? I've been trying to lace everybody up to reach out to me. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, The way I'm leaving Hurricane, man, is it's just gonna have to be some obscene things happen here. It's gonna have to fire old Fargo, and uh, it's gonna have to be a better opportunity for me out there to leave this old Hurricane, my Hurricane, your Hurricane. Hey, man, big shout out to everybody out there in West Africa. I appreciate y'all watching, man. I had to go back and after Moshan told me what he told me about his wife was over in Africa. They watching old Fargo. I had to go back and check my analytics, man. Yeah, I see y'all out there in Africa. You know what I'm saying? Holding strong. Y'all. Big shout out to everybody in the Fargo family, man. I appreciate y'all like, coming, subscribe, and putting up with the, all these crazy antics. Stuff like this right here. If y'all want to know specifics about Hurricane, man, y'all just have to make a comment. I give you my email. You know what I'm saying? And we'll take it from there. And uh, if I can't answer it without... Uh, being too personal going into what I got going on or telling other drivers story about what they got going on will make it happen you understand me uh, we, we'll get it right you know what I'm saying it's your boy a long way before I go like come subscribe we're trying to keep steak on our plate we trying to run this old 48 Lord Jesus is hell oh I just cussed coming to this hurricane yard going into that shop but I ain't got to pay for Nathan. I ain't got to pay for Nathan. Matter of fact, babe, get on your phone right quick. And read the Fargo family. <laughs> what Fargo supposed to be get doing. Get done. Now, mind you, lights and things like that, it may or may not get done depending on how busy the shop is. I came to the yard <coughs> at a wrong time due to the fact that they got 30 people back there in the hurricane. Orientation. 30 people is Tuesday. They came here Monday. They're leaving out Wednesday. So that's 30 trucks that the shop got to get out the shop, including with all these other drivers. And I would show y'all the shop back there, you know, but they be that razor back. Be tripping on me back there, babe. But read them, read them what I'm in the shop for, babe. Listen, Fargo family. A service, B service, change all filters, adjust the clutch, ECM download, lift shifter, inverter not working, check brakes, DOT inspection, put orange lights inside breather but install an orange light above cup holder red passenger breather lights out shim doors and for those of you who don't know what that is the doors are hard to open pretty much the doors are sagging they hard to open from left to right you know driver probably in here before they leaning on the door getting in and out driver side so they're gonna put some shims in the in the uh uh, frame of it, shim it, bring it back up the level so they'll open evenly. Go ahead, babe. The power steering is leaking, so we need to change the gasket. Replace truck coupling system. It's a little bit loose. Extra filters and uh, fix the city horn. Because it don't work, dog. So you just take a a mental note of everything my wife just said, right? That's got to be thousands of dollars that I'm not getting charged for. So I'm gonna do my due diligence stay on this yard and let this old hurricane work for me and work for me and work for everybody else. I'm gonna keep putting out this content for y'all every day, showing my journey, showing y'all how I'm manipulating through the system because y'all can tell I'm a different Fargo than I was here the last time. Mother trucker, y'all.